what's up everybody welcome back and welcome to saturday november 16th day 41 of climbing the mountain uh, going into the check-in woke up weighed ourselves at 343.4 pounds so i can say that i lost half the weight i gained it's just 0.2 pounds but we're gonna use the saying nonetheless and uh moving over into blood pressure i measured that at 145 over 94 um, that first number is coming down a little bit. I don't know. It's funny how they bounce back and forth, but uh, still in a zone where we're not in bad shape at all. So we'll take that. And then moving over to sleep. I was shooting for seven hours, just given the way things shook out, but ended up just getting six and a half. So that's that's not bad at all. It's an hour and a half down from where we want to be, but again. The way things are shaking out, I'll take that. And I'm gonna get, go through food real quick. So for breakfast, I had a sausage McMuffin and a hash brown from McDonald's. For lunch, uh, went to the Chinese buffet by the by where I work. Um, this is kind of a tough one. Um, I went into it thinking I'd be real disciplined about what I ate, and uh, for all intents and purposes, I was, but it's difficult to go to one of these buffet situations and not get a little wild so uh, that being said I had uh, some rice had some french fries that they made got some general salad chicken got uh, sweet and sour chicken and then I had a little bit of their macaroni and cheese too I'm the guy that goes and eats all the kids foods at the Chinese buffet um, so I did my best to estimate that in the chart we'll talk about that in a moment but uh, after seeing where that shook out on the chart I knew that I'd have to eat a pretty modest dinner so I just had 10 of the honey battered chicken tenders to eat for dinner and then for snacks uh, this morning I made myself a bag of sea salt popcorn to take with me on the way to work so just ate that to tide me over until I was able to go to breakfast and then moving into the chart itself, um, the calories pretty much where we want them to be, assuming that we've estimated the the, the launch correctly. And then the sodium's up quite a bit, also from the launch. Um, kind of expected that, but um, we'll see how things go. Then I'll get straight into talking points. So I'm coming to the uh, I guess idea that I'm going to have to sit down with a nutritionist and figure some things out, kind of start to educate myself on uh, what I may be doing wrong or at least what I could be doing better with the eating habits just so that we know what we're talking about and we can make some solid forward progress. Uh, definitely saying that I want to see a nutritionist is something I never thought I would say, but uh, we're in a situation now where it would be extremely beneficial, so I'm going to set that up here pretty soon. Um, then uh, today, I pushed the isometrics over from yesterday to today. Uh, I wasn't feeling 100% today either, but much better than yesterday, so I'm glad I did that. And proud to say that the first week of the isometrics is done. Some mission accomplished there. I'm trying to make Coach proud. Um, then uh, just I'll go to the quote in the clip that I picked out for today and then I'll, I'll come back I got a, a sign off that I wanted to get out uh, as far as the quote I'm going to steal a military saying here it's something uh, Brian said to me recently but it's kind of stuck with me here uh, it's, that is embrace the suck and this uh, it does it resonates with me a lot because there's I'm a uh, I'm pretty introverted and uh, there's a ton of things where I just won't engage something I should be doing for what it entails like so for example going to the grocery store yeah it's not like a big deal but I don't want to be around all those people and I there's other things that mentally I'd rather be doing right. Uh, but you slap embrace the suck on that situation well 
guess we might as well go get our asses in the grocery store and go get that taken care of, right? Uh, just go deal with it. And this also goes back to that swimming in deep water thing we talked about. It's another layer of that where when you immerse yourself in things that you don't want to do, they become a little bit more commonplace and I think less difficult to wrap your head around, for me anyways. Uh, so embrace the suck is good, especially in, uh, you know, I can put it on these isometrics. It's, yeah, it sucks right now a lot and it's tough and it's embarrassing to be in this shape, struggling this bad with, you know, not that they're simple movements, but uh, I guess if you know I'd made all the correct choices in life, they they might be. But we we are where we're at. But uh, embracing the suck with those, uh, you know, we'll do the best we can. We'll get better at it, and they'll be easier over time. So we are embracing that suck. So that's one example. And then as far as the video, I found a. Uh, video it's titled rise shine and embrace the suck it doesn't actually mention embrace the suck but it's a good video nonetheless it just talks about uh, doing the things you committed to uh, digging deep through all the things that'll tell you that you can't or you shouldn't or you know to take it easy uh, getting past all that and doing what you got to do to get better that's really it for those. I'll leave links to those in the description. Then I wanted to cut back. Um, today, I, I had a, I guess a moment when I was walking on the treadmill where I was kind of, uh, we'll say not embracing the suck, where I was just thinking like, man, this is going to be a tough one. I was just a few minutes into it and all I could think is, yeah, geez, I got 25 minutes left. Uh, but I started to uh, think about everybody that's been supportive and um, everybody that's talked to me about how they themselves are getting better, getting after it, and everybody said anything encouraging to me. And there, I mean, not just tonight, but several times when I start to think about that stuff it gets me back in the game pretty quick and uh, tonight was no exception after I started thinking about that next thing you know I've only got a few minutes left so um, just want to again say thank you to everybody who's interacted with me or you know had something nice to say whatever the case may be everybody that's going along with me in this um, I really appreciate it and it makes my heart bleed that anybody else is getting anything out of this so uh just appreciate it enough said uh, on that i'll end this video I'll try to edit this bad boy and get in the bed but uh thank you all for watching keep climbing the mountain and i will see you tomorrow